Winnie vlog number one. I'm going to show you what it takes to do this bathroom renovation from start to finish. Let's go. Today I'm going to show you how to install our drywall and our ceiling and on these two walls that we already did. Also, there's a framed in niche that I show you. I'll show you how to figure out. We had to move a vent pipe and also we had to add an extra wire for the other bathroom so then th there could be sconce lights. So let's get into it. So that's how you wire in a, a sconce. You have uh, two sconces essentially. So you have this one coming from the actual switch itself. And then you just have an extra wire that then will connect to that as well and go over to the other side of the vanity. Bang, done. All right, so now we gotta move our vent pipe. And for that, we need our big boy, the hogger. So now I'm trying to figure out my niche and kind of the location of it. So typically when I do my niche, I will do it kind of once I start tiling, but the framing does have to get done beforehand. Here's the trick though. So my shower is going to go from here to outside here. And the center of that is this line right there. I'm going to center my tile over it just like this. And then this is gonna be my center of my pattern. And then a piece is gonna go this way and a piece is going to go that way. So that means that this stud is the only thing that's in the way. My height right here is going to be two tiles tall because I want my, um, I want my grout line to start right here and then go this way. So this is basically my underlayment and then this is my piece of tile. So now I can figure out how high I have to go and how high my niche is going to end up. So that I can go ahead and just roughly mark that. There, probably one more. All right, so it looks like my niche is going to be right here. To be safe, I'm just going to cut down probably around here. So we'll go there, bang. That's gonna be the top of it. To be safe, I'm just going to cut down right there. So right now I'm going to frame out basically a window like that. And then once I actually get to know exactly to the eighth of an inch where I'm going to put it, I'm gonna put some blocks behind my uh, drywall and then frame it out perfectly. But right now I just wanna kinda of get the rough kinda of opening and then we're gonna drywall over this and not cut this out until we're ready to tile. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna get going on doing our drywall and first thing we're going to do is our ceiling uh, just because this way there's a little more wiggle room and your wall sheetrock is going to hold it up so what I want to do first is this is my strapping that's where our screws are going to go I'm just going to mark it right here so this way I know exactly where it is and then I never miss my screws The ceiling is done our next step is to do the top row around the entire room and then the third step is going to be to cut in the bottom row that's kind of the process that we go with able to do today and i'm happy with that the ceiling is the most annoying part we've got two big walls done so we're good this was definitely a win tomorrow's goal is going to be to get these two walls finished up 
and to do at least two, two, at least two hands of compound. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.